What is going on guys? My name is Fernando Herrera and so one of the questions I get asked a lot is where do I buy my tires from? And specifically where do I buy my new tires? So who are my suppliers? Where do I actually buy them from out of the US and how do I import them? And in this video I'm going to be talking about the event that happens once a year in Las Vegas called SEMA uh, that pretty much allows you to meet over hundreds of suppliers if not thousands of suppliers and so pretty much in this video i'm going to be explaining to you why you may want to come to sema 2022 this year at least sema for future years as well because again if you're looking for suppliers or vendors for specifically their tires or anything auto related this probably would be the best convention to attend now before we continue i would like to thank the sponsor of this video tirebase who is a point of sale system and a pretty much resource management system for tire shop owners mobile tire shops and drop shipping businesses so again uh, thank you so much to them for sponsoring this video so if you might be asking yourself what does SEMA stand for well SEMA actually stands for specialty equipment market association it started in 1963 and it started as a small group of manufacturers that supply parts and uh, equipment to the hot rod community eventually this grew out to what it is today there's over 1600 exhibitors ranging from any part you can imagine of course to tires now i've been attending sema for over 10 years i mean the first time i came to sema was actually when i was still used to live in mexico and i was about 16 years of age which again you guys will see in the picture attached now personally i believe this is a perfect place to meet a new tire suppliers ask questions, get pricing, and mainly, or most importantly, is to get a point of contact. I mean, at the end of the day, guys, you don't wanna be just emailing someone or just having a phone conversation with someone you've never seen in person. I personally feel it's a little bit easier to, you know, have someone who you've already met, who you got their business card, who you saw their booth, who you were able to maybe ask some questions and then start getting some pricing from them and then have that communication afterwards um, after you place a specific order. Now again, don't expect suppliers to simply give you a price sheet right there and there because especially when you're buying new tires by container, you know, prices uh, change almost every day, either through freight or because of just raw material or any sort of other logistics issues, right? Now, most of the time, the way it works is they will ask you to submit an order for production. Normally production takes one month and then after that one month, your container is shipped and then it takes another 45 days or 20 days to get your container here if everything goes smooth but now for example on previous years honestly I would go to SEMA just to see what was new and kind of just to walk around but this year specifically and the previous years I mean mainly have been just to talk to my current suppliers establish that good connection get to see them once in a year you know because we rarely get to see them or visit them so it's nice to kind of see all of our suppliers at one you know few days um, of course talk to new potential suppliers people who want to do business with us or I'm interested in doing business with them suppliers for like shop supplies like balancing weights, beads, anything you can think of, wheels, tires, all of them are here. Now this year I do intend in visiting more of the software booths because again if you've been following some of my videos um, actually I've been a lot more involved into software development specifically for the tire industry whether it's buying containers through a site that it's easy you know instead of communicating with suppliers and vendors and excel sheets I'm thinking about launching a site that you could buy uh, wholesale or containers you know directly through there um, of course the drop shipping program that we have launched with some clients as well and then uh, the point of sale system which is tire base now there are some things you have to keep in mind if you want to attend SEMA as I will share in I guess the picture right now you will see that there is a cost to go but compared to other conventions the cost I personally feel it's really really affordable I mean if you get it uh, all the way online through Friday September 30th it's only $40 per person or per badge um, online or on site after September 30th would be $90. And then, uh, you know, there's other stuff that you could ask or buy, you know, like financial investment services, which I've never used. So I don't know really what that means. Uh, but, you know, it's 200, 200, and all that other stuff. They also do have courses, uh, some of for free. When you sign up, you know, you'll be allowed to pick some of these courses or seminars. But some of them do cost money and some of them do get quite expensive. Again, I've never really paid for any of these courses because I'd rather, I'd rather just pay uh, for seminars on the side. Normally these days for me are really, really busy after meeting, meeting after meeting after meeting. Uh, so, you know, normally I don't have time to go to a seminar, but uh, 
again, when I was just going in the beginning, I did attend several talks and, and sometimes they can be kind of helpful. I say kind of because sometimes you do get some speakers that maybe um, won't align to the current way you do business. But again, that, that really depends on everyone. Everyone's different. Now, the other important thing you have to know is that you do have to be in the tire industry or not even in the tire industry, but at least you have to prove that you're in the automobile industry. So whether you have a shop, whether you have something, uh, normally they will ask for verification, either a business card or a business license. And you know, they get kind of strict about this. I'm not sure if there's a way to fool the system. Uh, I do know that there are some badges for students that you can apply for if you're a student. And of course, if you have a spouse, then you know, they don't have to prove anything. I believe they just get a spouse badge and the students get a student badge. And then of course, media and reporters get their own, I guess, media badge. But anyways, I thought I made this video, you know, inviting all of you guys to attend SEMA this year and every year I'm attending SEMA. So if you are going to SEMA, make sure you comment below. Let me know where you're going to be. Hopefully I would love to meet with some of you guys, you know, just maybe grab a cup of coffee, eat some lunch and, you know, get to talk about the tire industry and what do you guys think where we're going, how to improve and how to just get better. Again, I made this video a little bit before that deadline of September 30th so that you could get that $40 discount if you still can. Uh, because I believe if you register, you know, the verification process might take some time, but at least you secure that $40 uh, cost. Not to mention, of course, I live in Las Vegas, so I don't have to pay for hotel, car, transportation, all that stuff. But if you are coming those days to SEMA at this time, if you book a hotel and transportation, you are going to be looking at quite an expensive time because a lot of these rooms have already been booked. But anyways, there you guys have it. The reason why you should be attending SEMA in Las Vegas, Nevada is simply so you could get to know more suppliers. If you're looking to buy tires from overseas or parts or any sort of part that you can imagine, trust me, you will find the supplier in this convention. And for $40, really, you're getting a really good deal. Again, I hope I get to see you guys there. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys again next time.